Hey guys, how's it going? I hope your break is going well. Um, I'm in England. That sounds weird. <laughs> Mainly because I don't feel like I'm in England. Um, certain things, I mean, makes me feel like I'm in a foreign country, but for the past, this past week, I've been surrounded by Americans and surrounded by Americans from Minnesota actually so I feel like I'm just at home so I've been going through orientation this whole entire week and it's orientation for the international students at Lancaster University and surprisingly enough a, like a big majority of us are Americans and a big majority of the Americans are from Minnesota so I mean, I've been around Minnesotans all day long. I don't even feel like I'm in England. Yesterday at orientation, we actually got to take a tour around the city of Lancaster. And I have a few clips to show you. There's a lovely example of a building from the 1730s. A uh, wealthy family's summer house. Somewhere they could entertain their friends in their garden. But now, let's get on to the bustle of the... got a reference to Lancaster's famous cabinet makers, furniture makers here, Gillo, who are considered to be one of the greatest furniture makers in the country. When Lancaster became a port, the rich merchants divided uh, It's from local quarries, and uh, along the canal, which I'm sure you'll discover to yourselves, uh, there are lots of the mills remain um, that would have been used for linoleum production and what, as well as other things. <laughs> Careful of the puzzles. <laughs> Lancaster is a really small town. Um, there's not really much going on in the city except for the Lancaster Market, which is in the city center, and that's like where all the shops are. Um, and then there's just pubs all around the city. That that's pretty much what everyone does here is they just they go out drinking. <laughs> um, and speaking of drinking, drinking here is so chillax, and I think it's because well, because the drinking age is like 18. After orientation was over, like we had a few lectures about different aspects of the school and things like that. The director of the international study abroad program would you know, say, oh, so this is, so this is the end of our formal orientation, um, after this you can go to the bar across the street and hang out and meet people and stuff like that, and it's like, what? At the bar? Like, what? <laughs> um, we actually have a couple bars on campus, which is so weird to me, but I actually think it's a great idea to have bars on campus because it's so much safer to have bars on campus so that students can walk there and if they, you know, get a little too intoxicated, they can just walk back home rather than drive home from like a bar that's maybe a couple miles away. So I think the US should think about that. <laughs> like the drinking here, like it's so social and it's so comfortable to be around. It's not like American drinking, you know, where you're like trying to get wasted. Like I don't know. I it's it's really different and I'm I'm really liking it. Um yeah. I like it here. <laughs> um but classes start next week and the classes here are set up differently where students here don't take midterms. They you know, study, study, read, read, you know, do whatever, go through lectures and discussions until about Easter time, and then they have a month off, and it's called like their Easter break, and during that time, most students here would spend like a month studying for their finals, 
that's in like May or June. And the reason why they give you that month long to study for finals is because that final test is worth 50% of your grade. Huh. Yeah, I'm not a good test taker. And those four months that we have, or four months, four weeks that we have off, I'm not gonna spend that time studying. I'm gonna be traveling, duh. So, I don't think I'm gonna do very well in my classes, but I'm gonna try really hard. That's hoping. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, I don't know. If you guys have questions, go ahead and ask me. Um, hopefully I'll see some of your guys' videos on our YouTube channel sometime soon.